Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Please be seated. We are grateful to the Lord for giving us this beautiful day that we have been more or less spared from the... Uh, typhoon, Christine. And yet we know that uh, even right now we have still Filipinos who are our brothers and sisters in the Lord who are still experiencing the challenges brought about by, by this typhoon. In this Mass, let us continue praying for them. But we are also happy and blessed this, uh, today not only because of the sun finally coming out, but also because the mother is visiting the mother church. And uh, we are very grateful for 
uh, the people in charge no, in allowing the pilgrim image of Our Lady of Fatima to visit the Manila Cathedral. And so on behalf of the Manila Cathedral community, I would like to welcome uh, the image of Our Lady of Fatima in our midst, courtesy of the Rector of the National Shrine of Our Lady of Fatima in Valenzuela, Father Elmer Ignacio. Palakpakan po natin sila. And also the World Apostolate of Fatima, the members of which are here, the ones wearing blue, no? and also together with the main celebrant of the Mass and their spiritual director, Father Julius Desagun. So welcome po sa inyong lahat sa Manila Cathedral. And uh, the image of the, pil the pilgrim image will be with us until uh, Sunday. And uh, we encourage everyone, especially those who are following us online, if you are able to come and visit the pilgrim image to the Manila Cathedral. So sa inyo pong lahat, muli maligayang pagdating sa inang simbahan. Please stand. Sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and to you, my and brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary Ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God of mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, Father of mercies, whose only begotten Son, as He hung upon the cross, chose the Blessed Virgin Mary, His mother, to be our mother also. Grant, we pray, that with her loving help, your Church may be more fruitful day by day, and exalting in the holiness of her children, may draw to her embrace all families of the peoples. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to leave in a manner worthy of the call you have received. With all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. One body and one Spirit as you were also called to the one hope of your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. The Word of the Lord Thanks be to God. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas, and established it upon the rivers. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. 
Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, when you see a cloud rising in the west, you say immediately that it is going to rain, and so it does. And when you notice that the wind is blowing from the south, you say that it is going to be hot, and so it is. You hypocrites, you know how to interpret the appearance of the earth and the sky. Why do you not know how to interpret the present time. Why do you not judge for yourselves what is right? If you are to go with your opponent before a magistrate, make an effort to settle the matter on the way. Otherwise, your opponent will turn you over to the judge, and the judge hand you over to the constable, and the constable throw you into the prison. I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Kumusta po kayong lahat? While we are celebrating the Mass here, marami po sa ating mga kababayan ang nakababad pa rin sa tubig. At ang mga sarili kong mga kababayan sa Cavite ay kasama po doon. So kasama rin po nila tayong nagdarasal at inilalagay natin sa palad ng mahal na Birheng Maria na ngayon ay dumadalaw sa atin ang lahat ng ating mga kababayan na naapektuhan ng bagyong nagdaan. It is very easy to affirm what Jesus said in the Gospel about the predictability of the weather. According to Him, when the clouds rise, we know that it will rain. And if the wind blows from the south, we call it a bagat, we say that it will be a hot day. But that was during the time of Jesus. Our weather system nowadays is already quite advanced. And I just wonder why, during the Typhoon Christine, 
which was even forecasted many times over, many of us have been widely devastated, especially in the many areas of Luzon and Visayas. Typhoon Christine was even forecasted along with the other two coming low-pressure areas. We commend the ordinary people who do their share to help in the middle of this crisis, even though they don't hold public office. Dapat tayong magpasalamat sa mga, katao, mga taong katulad nila. But what is sad is this. Not a few civil leaders said that they were caught by surprise by the effects of the typhoon. Surprise? Surprise talaga? Hindi po ba taon-taon naman po ang kalamidad? But it seems like we have never learned. Parang we talk about the big amounts of budgets and yet we are not always prepared. We are always surprised. We prepare for disasters when it is already here. And worse, relief goods are sometimes the best that we get from our leaders. Can't we have long-term solutions? Lagi na lang ba tayong surprised? Should we content ourselves with band-aid solutions? Yung pakonsuelo na lang lagi ang para sa mga napuruhan. For sure, our leaders, na tayo naman po ang pamili sa kanila, can do better than this. Pero sabi nga, dahil nandito na, the best that we can do as Christians is malasakit at pagtutulungan. Short-sightedness. Yan po ang problema ng Panginoong Yesus sa mga kausap niya ngayon sa ating gospel. If we think that the end is not yet happening anytime soon, we procrastinate. We tend to enjoy to the full. As the gospel the other day said, we spend life eating, drinking, marrying, enjoying, or even hurting one another. Parang walang katapusan ang lahat. Some people would say, enjoyin lang natin to. Alam niyo po, teacher po ako, and even students are like that. Bigyan mo ng task at the beginning of the semester, and the submission will be five months after, and they will say, malayo pa yan, saka ko na yan iisipin. Some students would even say, mas lumalabas ang aking galing at ang aking talino kapag kraming na. Okay, then duty would come and in no time, like a thief in the night, the student, lo and behold, will go to the teacher asking, Ano po ang dapat kong gawin para makapasa? Pwede po bang special project na lang? Five months ang preparations, hindi ba? Ano ang ginawa mo sa five months na yon? Akala ko ba enjoy lang? Ngayon ka mag-enjoy, ngayong wala ka ng panahon. So mayroon bang long-term effect ang kaligayahang naranasan sa sinabi mong enjoy lang o panandalian lang? Short-sightedness is indeed a problem. We have been so used to quick fixes and happiness that would not last. What do we do then? Jesus has a suggestion. Before it's too late, we have to do something. Do not wait for the due date. Kung limited ang ating time at malapit na ang katapusan, ano po ang gagawin mo? Jesus suggests us to settle with our opponents outside the courts. Why? Because if you do not settle your differences, the charges may pin you down. At talagang magiging katapusan mo na yan. Now question is, if your end is near, who are those persons that you would want to settle with? Could it be yourself? Yung kalagayan mo ngayon, kung ano man yan, ang mga pinagdadaanan mo, maybe you have not forgiven yourself. Kaya naapektuhan pati ang pakikitungo sa iba, ang pakikipagkapwa, pero ang totoo, ang kalaban pala ay ang sarili. You might be in conflict with someone who used to be close to your heart. 
who in the process have hurt you or you have hurt? Can you forgive within the limited time that you have? You might be in conflict with God. And it's about time to come to Him to beg for forgiveness. The right time is now. Don't wait for the end times. We do not know when it will happen, so we better prioritize our relationship with God right now, right here. Finally, today is a blessed day because we have in our midst the pontifically crowned image of Our Lady of Fatima. It is called the National Pilgrim Image of Fatima from the National Shrine of Fatima in Valenzuela. The visit of this image signifies the relaunching of the World Apostolate of Fatima or WAF in the Archdiocese of Manila. But what is the significance of WAF in the Church? What is the role of WAF in general? It is to proclaim the authentic message of Our Lady during her apparitions at Fatima. Why the term authentic? Well, we must admit that there are many preachers who are proclaiming that the message of Fatima is hell. Again, short-sightedness. Yes, Our Lady of Fatima mentioned hell, but it is not the central message, but rather prayer, sacrifice, penance, and conversion for us to win the mercy of God and thus to avoid hell. It is in this manner that as the spiritual director of WAF in the, in the ecclesiastical province of Manila, and in the name of the apostolate, I invite you all to attend the talks and conferences on the message of Fatima while her national pilgrim image is here at the Manila Cathedral. May Mama Mary deliver us from our short-sightedness and turn our gaze into our real goal, heaven. Amen. Please stand. The Lord Jesus tells us to watch for the day of His return. Let us come to the Father in prayer, watching and waiting for the Lord's return. In every petition we shall say, Prepare for us your kingdom, Lord. Prepare us for your kingdom, Lord. That the church may respond to the call for conversion and renewal. Let us pray to the Lord. Prepare us for your kingdom, Lord, that people of goodwill may work together to put an end up to war and hatred, oppression and injustice. Let us pray to the Lord. Prepare us for your kingdom, Lord, that we may become more aware of the presence of Christ among the poor and the suffering people. Let us pray to the Lord. Prepare us for your kingdom, Lord, that the sick may be given strength and hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Prepare us for your kingdom, Lord, that our friends and relatives who have died may experience everlasting joy in the company of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Prepare us for your kingdom, Lord. Almighty God, Listen to our prayers. Open our eyes to your presence all around us. Make us closer to you each day. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Thank you. 
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive our offerings, O Lord, and transform them into the mystery of salvation, so that by its power we may be set aflame with the charity of the Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church and with her may be united more closely to the work of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to proclaim your greatness with due praise as we honor the Blessed Virgin Mary. Receiving your word in her immaculate heart, she found worthy to conceive, to conceive him in her virgin's womb. And giving birth to the Creator, she nurtured the beginnings of the Church. Standing beside the cross, she received the testament of divine love and took to herself as sons and daughters all those who by the death of Christ are born to heavenly life. As the apostles awaited the Spirit you had promised, she joined her supplication to the prayers of the disciples, and so became the pattern of the church at prayer. Raised to the glory of heaven, she accompanies you, your pilgrim church, with a mother's love and watches in kindness over the church's homeward steps until the Lord's day shall come in glorious splendor. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore the skips we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all saints, we have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, by peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you.
Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those invited to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let we us stand. Pray. Having received the pledge of redemption and of life, we humbly pray, O Lord, that with the Blessed Virgin's motherly help, your Church may teach all nations by proclaiming the Gospel and through the grace of the outpouring of the Spirit, fill the whole earth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Amen.